Millions of women are, are going red or wearing red to raise awareness Morning, about well, cardiovascular new information disease. Coming from According a... to the American Heart Association, CBD is the number one killer of women. Here are some of the statistics. Nearly 45% of women ages 20 and above are living with some form of cardiovascular disease. And women experience unique life changes such as pregnancy and menopause. That can put them at an increased risk. These numbers are why initiatives like Go Red Day are so important so women feel empowered to take charge of their own heart health. This morning, cardiologist Dr. Nidhi Kumar on call to tell us what we can do. So first, let's talk about, first of all, good morning. Good morning. So good to see you. Uh, how serious a problem is this? What type of risk are we talking about I mean, here? This is the leading cause of death for women, and cardiovascular disease accounts for more deaths in women than all forms of cancer. Now, historically, uh, women have been underrepresented in cardiovascular research, and that's why there's been this lack of awareness. But sometimes there's also a lack of initiative upon women to address these issues. And why? Well, we're the caretakers. We're taking care of our spouses, our children, our pets, our plants, before we're even taking care of ourselves, and our heart pays the price. So why don't you give us the risk factors? What do we need to look out for? Well, elevated blood pressure, elevated cholesterol, diabetes and obesity. If there's one thing we've learned from these weight loss drugs like Ozempic, and Wagovi, it's that when we drive down our glucose, when we drive down our weight, we drive down our cardiovascular risk. Also, lesser talked about risk factors, kidney disease and menopause is a big one for women. The hormonal changes, the mood changes, and the sleep disturbance can all increase cardiovascular risk. When we think about heart disease, we often think about older adults, but you're saying pregnant women are also at risk. Tell me about that. I mean, it's really incredible that maternal mortality is on the rise and what is driving those numbers is heart disease with new moms heart attack and stroke in particular is driving those deaths now why is that happening well we're waiting till we're older to have children many women are going into pregnancy with more chronic conditions high blood pressure diabetes obesity and then certain populations like black women are at even higher risk and I always say you know pregnancy is like a marathon you wouldn't start running without getting checked out from your doctor, getting in shape. The same thing with pregnancy. You want to get checked out. You want to get your risk factors under control and get in the best possible shape before you get pregnant. The American Heart Association encourages women to know their numbers. Let's go over those numbers and what women should be aware of. Absolutely. Blood pressure, target, less than 120 over 80. Uh, cholesterol, LDL cholesterol, less than 100. That's your bad cholesterol. While you want your good cholesterol, your HDL cholesterol, to be greater than 60. BMI, less than 25. But even stronger than BMI as a predictor is waist circumference. So you you want to get your waist circumference less than 35 as a woman and uh, blood glucose less than 100 and then finally they don't publish this but give yourself a stress score between one and five check in with yourself during the day if you're grading your stress level as a three four or five take a breather take a break take a breath and um, with you know doing knowing these numbers being cognizant of these numbers and actually acting upon it you can really drive down your risk all right and and wear red today too exactly yeah show your support <laughs> dr nidhi kumar so good to see you thank you so much such good information for for women out there we really appreciate it